Good morning. I'd like to start by saying that I will be unable to hide my disgust for the, some of the people we talk about today who victimize the dead and the survivors. Holocaust denial. What is it? It essentially has lots of components, but boils down to the fact that there are people who do not believe that the Nazis attempted to rid Europe of the Jews by exterminating them in various forms, various ways. Why do they not believe it? Um, years ago, I would have suggested straight anti-Semitism, and, and while that is an enormous part of it as well, I would now suggest the idea that alternative facts, my truth, things like that, lead people to seek internet conspiracies and believe what they want to believe in spite of overwhelming evidence. Some of the common elements of Holocaust denial include that the ki killings by the Nazis of the Jews was not systematic, that some may have been killed, but these were rogue SS or rogue soldiers killing people here and there, not that many. Uh, also, another element is the supposed number of dead is greatly exaggerated. Six million is not even close, according to these people. It is somewhere along the lines of either zero or often quoted as 100,000 people. Most of them died because of disease or other um, smaller, lesser things. Also popular, Auschwitz was not an extermination camp. It was a work camp, slave labor camp, but that was not built for that purpose. And of course, there were no crematoriums, there were no gas chambers. And another one includes the fact that uh, this myth, the entire myth of the Holocaust was created uh, for Jews to get compensation from the rest of Europe, from Germany, from the United States. I believe it started right away. I would offer to you that, although it may not be considered denial, uh, the German, common German citizen who claimed that they did not know that this was taking place during the war and then after the war when they were confronted, uh, combined with at war crimes trials, soldiers would say, I was just doing my job. I was just following orders. Uh, the Auschwitz Museum uh, does not deny, but I would include bending the truth of their uh, displays were can, uh, can talking about the Poles who died and not the Jews, de-emphasizing one thing in favor of another. Uh, the Adolf Eichmann trial also, he offered that he was just following orders and also that he was just making the trains run. Again, not specifically denial, but right from the beginning, we're going to change the narrative and we're going to say something else was actually going on. Pseudo-history started popping up immediately after the war, and by this, um, people writing things that were demonstrably not true, but had an audience. Austin App was a German-American professor who claimed that the Jews f that were in Europe, the 5 million, 6 million Jews who disappeared, in fact, they fled to Israel, Palestine before that. Uh, another one would be Paul Rezanier. My French is terrible, worse than my German, but he was actually a prisoner at Buchenwald, and because he was treated better by the guards than his fellow prisoners, he felt that experiences in other camps were greatly exaggerated. Wilhelm Steglich was a German, and he eventually came to the United States and helped edit journals with at the Institute of Historical Review, which was a breeding ground in the 70s, 80s for uh, Holocaust denial that was published and sent across the world in various places. David Irving was, is, I'm sorry, he's still with us, is one of the main Holocaust deniers that uh, we'll be talking about. He is also considered a Hitler sympathizer, and I consider him a writer, but a bad historian. Uh, his early writings, including Hitler's War, included mentions of the Holocaust, but not very detailed, not very uh, specific about it. His later, but he acknowledged it. His later work, sometime in the 80s, suddenly changed that it didn't happen uh, as People have said it happened. Uh, again, he, he was a proponent of that Auschwitz was... Uh, a place that, w that did not contain gas chambers, that did not contain crematoriums, and that the 100,000 people died there mostly from disease. 
uh, a look at his lectures and public speaking would also show that when he was live in front of an audience, in addition to his writings, he would become more, uh, more animated, more confrontational, and in several instances he actually confronted survivors, telling them that they misremembered, they didn't know what they were talking about, and they didn't experience what they did. In 1993, historian Deborah Lipstadt was uh, offered, wrote her book, Denying the Holocaust, and pushed back, finally, on what had been going on for several decades. And in that book, she uh, accused David Irving of being a Hitler sympathizer, of being a Holocaust denier, and of getting his history wrong. A year or two later, after the book came out, he filed a lawsuit in London claiming libel on her part. This resulted in a very long trial where he was suing in London for the, due to the fact that he could no longer get a publisher. His books were no longer selling because of what she wrote. In preparation for the lawsuit, historians, real historians such as Richard Evans dug deeply into Irving's past writings and was able to show that he not only manipulated history, but he tossed out different things that in his, from his research that didn't uh, agree with his idea that Hitler was uh, the best friend that the Jews ever had. These things were proven in court, and eventually uh, the judge returned the verdict that, in fact, David Irving was a Hitler sympathizer and that what Deborah Lipschatt had written was true. Uh, it was all there, it was just needed to be discovered by uh, real research from real historians. Uh, looking into my crystal ball, I would suggest that the future of Holocaust denial is alive and well, and it is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. The rise of political groups uh, across Europe and in the United States as well, such as the AFD and also the FPO or FPA, depending on which pronunciation, um, shows that there uh, is plenty of anti-Semitism and plenty of right-wing thinking to go around, and that Holocaust denial will not be a of the past, unfortunately. Uh, Denial, the movie, which encompassed the trial, was very good. It was critically acclaimed. However, like most movies, it took an event that was very complex and very long and tried to shoehorn it into a two-hour movie, but that was well-received and kept the discussion going about that. Uh, museums, the Holocaust Museum, memorials in Berlin, the uh, continued patronage of people to these things will help that, uh, will keep it going, and hopefully historians throughout uh, the world will be able to push back on this nonsense of denying something that absolutely happened and victimized uh, six million people, and it is still happening today, the victimization from this type of mindset that goes with the anti-Semitism. Thank you very much.